my name is Teresa Lockwood. I reside in Violin, New Jersey, and um, basically um, recording this guy uh, pretending he's of the Holy Spirit. Um, no, he is not. Um, he is copying one of my words, by the way. I use the word. Um, I used a word like a couple months ago, about a few months ago, on the um, Violet New Jersey Police Department page. They deleted some of my things that they were getting these people to um, copy. Frank Apolito and Raymond Church, uh, William Clay or whatever. And um, so he's sitting there ranting off about defeat. Now this is a man who is persecuting me, okay? Um, falsely judging me and his judgmentalism. He's sitting there using the atheistic or child molester type rules or whatever, mixing them in with uh, holy teachings deliberately. It's very disgusting. Um, he's pretending he's of the Holy Spirit and sitting there trying to play Lord over the Holy Spirit. Okay. Uh, which he has used me for. I should look it up, actually. Um, still acknowledged for me for years, apparently. Um, I'm actually going to jump ahead. I don't know if I want to even record this part. I don't know. I basically wound up listening near the end this morning. Around 3, 3 o'clock, 3 to 4 a.m. this morning. I was going to do a video earlier. Um... So, I'm, haven't been asleep yet, I'm tired, so, um, might go to sleep soon. Yeah, it's like, uh, nine, almost ten o'clock in the morning, so, <laughs> anyway, um, should just jump ahead. I don't know, let me see what this records, let me see. Are you understanding or are you judgmental? Um, you have to be judgmental to be understanding, by the way. It goes hand in hand, just like discernment and being judgmental. They like to impair discernment, by the way. Um, um, which is basically includes being judgmental, like you are to discern between true teachers and false teachers. So, it, it, they do this when there's a desperation of losing people, what have you. You know, claiming people who don't have love, if, they're, if they don't have unconditional love or whatever and accept him, uh, whatever he's doing or what have you. Um, so... Uh, and his, all his cult abuse. So, um, I'm going to go on. I'm going to, I might just jump ahead. Um, I'm going to, yeah, I want to record this other statement that he made. I don't know. How much time do you spend praying for the people that offend you the most? I mean, how much time do you really just spend with God in prayer saying, God, I just want, I, I need to confess to you. I can't love this person in my own personhood. I don't agree with them. What they do, I don't even like. There's things about them I can't even stand. And I just want you to know Jesus. There is a false idea that he's always promoting about love, by the way. Look, let me tell you something. He's sitting there excluding the Ten Commandments, claiming unconditional love. He's echoing the the fraudulent Pentecostals, who are actually also stealing from me and copying me. So he's basically going to copy that of what I said about the Holy Spirit. Um, and include the false claims of these Pentecostals or whatever as they try to claim Holy Spirit against everything that is of the knowledge and laws of God, by the way. So, um, listening to him has been very, very tormenting. Um, he is my persecutor, by the way. Um, he's, um, very, very confusing to listen to. Um, very painful to listen to. But, um, he basically, the thing is to sit there and say, well, 98% of it, the time his teachings are false. Um, so he, you know, tries to appear humble and act like, you know, he's wrong about something or whatever. So, but more of the time, he basically, uh, tries to appear to want to be right without being right. So, he, he said that nasty little statement to me, or whatever, why he's persecuting me, making up all these delusions that he's oppressing me under his madness. 
So, um, he said to me, oh, you always want to be right or whatever. And my desire of being right is a desire for righteousness while he wants to appear right. So he takes vengeance on, um, me and my children. Okay. And, uh, he's nothing but a coward little punk. Abuse of power, ex-dirty cop, abuse of cult leader or what have you. And, um... So he 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 he, play, he plays a, the devil's game. He sits there and talks about equality, yet um, he, you know, he's copying me on me actually taking action and basically talking to people of like differences or what have you. But then he's mimicking me and quoting like this, um, in regards to. Uh, <sighs> Reflecting the Nazarenes as thinking they're the only church or what have you. Um, I actually destroyed with proof um, and exposed all these churches to be false. So I get that same claim. And of course by atheists especially sitting there. Like, oh you're the only one that thinks you, you, uh, you're of the truth. I'm like no actually that's the, uh, the opposite of what I teach by the way. My whole thing is truth cannot be contained in there. Um... There are called organization clicks, and nobody owns the truth. And I've been teaching this ever since I was in that church, in this cult church. Um, but I didn't say it like that at the time. Um, and my other teaching is basically a religion is in everyone. Of course, they're basically teaching the false teachings that flip religion backwards as calling religion a sin when religion is actually opposite to sin. So it looks like a little cover up here um, opposed to what he has been teaching. He, they're mocking me because I basically, uh, he was teaching self-centeredness and I, and I spoke Christ-centeredness against their self-centeredness. So he's going off with claiming and now teaching others centered. So, um, it's just a mockery or whatever. Um, he likes to pervert all, everything that I do or say, um, or whatever, to sit there and try to exalt himself over me. The thing is, I don't exalt myself over anyone. The only thing that I am exalted that makes me exalted over anybody is when they exalt their evil over me. So that would be the majority of the people in the world. So, um, yeah. So the thing is, I go around sitting there saying I'm better than everybody. So it actually causes them to sit there and speak against themselves, acting like they're better than everybody. They don't hear me any other way or what have you. The thing is, is just, yeah, I am better than a lot of people. Yes, I am better than the child rapists, uh, baby killers, and all these other things or what have you. I'm not going to apologize for that whatsoever. They want to pervert scripture and sit there and try to use scripture that cl claim that I'm wrong sitting there, you know, um, about, uh, Jesus serving people or whatever, and, you know, um, edify, uh, uh, um, you know, put others before yourselves and all these other things or what have you, and, uh, actually I've done that to my enemies, so, um, and I basically have always encountered them humbly, uh, serving them, but I am going to rebuke them, they said I'm not allowed to do that, which basically, again, reverts them back to, basically, um, um, uh, thinking that they're more superior than me when I basically, uh, gave knowledge that proved their false knowledge to be false. So they sit there and still insist that they're Christian in all their falsehood, and I'm not, even though I spoke Christ against them. They only sit there and pervert the word of God, uh, and spoken by the prophets in Jesus Christ, um, to sit there, and they have not come against me, by the way, not one time they have not judged me rightly, so they actually claim I'm not allowed to judge, but I have judged them rightly, I'm going to anyway, and, um, the thing is, when, in their hypocrisy, when they sit there and, you know, uh, speak against me and try to condemn me as being judgmental, they're falsely judgmental. They have never judged me with righteous judgment whatsoever. So, um, I'm going to re continue. I'm going to jump ahead, actually. Maybe I'm, I'm looking for a word that I'm just going to record from I him. can't I'm love them. Tired. I'm telling you, please, Jesus, help me to love them. Change my vision of who they are. 
William Clay, this is, is this all about William Clay? Is all is this all about wanting to, uh, William Clay wanting people to see him? What? The good people. Let's see. Jesus said, How is it that you being evil know how to give good gifts? And he said, and then he reflects how much more uh, my father will give you from heaven. Okay, so this is a thing. He rants off about potential and all these other things or what have you. And I basically have exposed the most evil that William Clay, that I've experienced from William Clay. So low. To sit there and destroy my family. And he still wants to sit there and blame me. Oh, what does he want me to do? Because the thing is, none of them can see him. And they know it. Okay. Now, they saw vengeance confirmed by his... I don't know what she is to him, but I guess his stepdaughter or whatever. Claiming that they never stop. They, you know, all these things or whatever. And, um... William Clay wants to be in control of things. Now, everybody has a sense of control about everything. Now, he talks unconditional love. You can sit there and yap off unconditional love, but you're basically going to put conditions on anything no matter what you do. Okay? And he's still going to do it all through his teachings and all, all, whatever, because he's either... There's a, there, there's a law at play. Rather he's on the opposite side of the law of justice or in the law of justice, there's going to be a condition. He can yap off unconditional love all he wants. Okay? But there's going to be a condition every time he makes a judgment. And he's just... He, actually, what I just record, he's still doing it. He, he's not going to get out of that. We're bound by law. Okay? So... Um, original insight, by the way. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm not a cookie cutter like he is. A mimicker or what have you. Even though they try to reflect it and be like, oh, that's what you learned from. No, anything, all the things, all, all the things that I teach was not influenced by what I grew up with, by the way. Not one little thing and not even in the slightest. Okay, all the things I taught about salvation, completely, I could teach completely against the false salvation they teach when I was growing up. Which he actually teaches my teaching, by the way, that these churches do not teach. That the churches are teaching a false salvation. Um, all you gotta say is, you know, or, you know, Lord Jesus come to my heart and you're saved and all these other things or whatever. And, uh, and then you're told you're saved. Now, the thing is, I've been speaking um, about that for many, 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 many years. Um, that I mentioned that in that church. Um, I did mention a different salvation, not different than the biblical teachings of salvation. But a different salvation than they taught. And a different salvation that they taught growing up. Now, they made up a lie in their antitheist atheism preconceived notions. That, oh, that's what, that's what you grew up with. No, it's not. What I was teaching in their church, church is completely against what I grew up with. Um, they told me to go back where uh, I came from. And my response to that, and I've been writing it all over the place. Um, to anybody who is evil like that, yeah, take your shit back to hell where you got it from. So, um... I, no, I don't use the word... Uh, S, the S-H-I-T in that when I say that. I just figured I'd put that in there. So, um, anyway. Uh, yes, deliberately. So, um, I don't know if I should just jump ahead to that. I don't know my number was on. Um, yeah. so, I don't know. So, he seems, like, unrighteously angry. Um, all the time, yes, I can get very, 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 very sharp, harsh, screaming, and crying, and still be in righteousness because I'm speaking against their evil. He is so...
conceded. Now he tried to falsely accuse me of being conceded because I wrote against him in my own private journal online uh, against him being conceded. So he likes to scapegoat people. Um, I'm far from conceded, by the way. Um, so, but he was slandering me or whatever. And, um, you know, he's punished me. He, he keeps going around uh, falsely judging me every time I... Um, judge them or whatever. They attacked my brother, the Vana Police Department, and attacked him um, for witnessing against a, uh, a pedophile, Glenn Green, convicted pedophile, um, and attacked my brother for exposing them because they said, oh, they're all of faith on all the churches and said they're spe he's speaking against God. He's been a prisoner, by the way, for speaking against abuse since he was a child. So, um, and they deliberately, um, attacked me and my children and whatever and destroyed my family for speaking against pedophiles. Youth ministers, Russell Pullen and Glenn Green, John Green, I don't think he was a youth minister ever, I don't, know, I don't really know, uh, pedophile, um, and a number of other people. So, I do have a video on it. <laughs> I did have a video on it. I think I lost it. I'm not really sure. My laptop's in the shop, so whatever. Um, uh, yeah, it, um, I don't know what it did, uh, so, uh, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go on, um, whatever. We're listening to his unrighteous anger. There is a righteous anger. Uh, this is an unrighteous anger. And yes, and they're sitting there saying that God's not to change anybody else but you. Now you would be everybody else. So this doesn't make any sense to me. Um, so, uh, yeah, Christianity, that's another thing that Frank Apollo that he colluded with is trying to cover up because he said, uh, you're not, or, Christianity isn't to change anybody. I'm like, Christianity is all about repentance and change. So, um, um, yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to go on. Thing you're struggling with? It's got no, no, no desire to change them. You know who he wants to change? Wants to change you. You know why you're struggling with them? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, so now he blames, um... Look, it, people... This doesn't make any sense at all. Like, I mean, he's not... He's, he's not He's not speaking theologic. Because you're only loving in your natural person's ability. You haven't yet come to the point to wave the like white flag and tell God, God. He denies the natural uses of God's design, period. So he's below natural. So they all want to sit there and go on about spirit, uh, supernatural, and there's nothing supernatural about their delusions. So, um... They need, they, 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 you know, it's just, it's just like they, they, it, it, they're no different than the LFBTQs who exchanged the natural use, rebuked for exchanging uh, the natural use for uh, what is unnatural. Okay? So they, they like to play their little games or what have you. These, um, I'm going to go on. I'm just going to record this. <laughs> I'm confessing to you. I can't do that. I need your help. Love? It's just one thing they cannot do. So the, while they're uh, denying the Ten Commandments, right, they keep bearing false witness. What it is, and they're denying that and trying to pit love against that. Look, the person of the love of God, okay, does not bear false... The love your enemies is to not bear false witness against your enemy. Okay, with him, he deliberately brings the confusion, there is these things that cult abusers use and even the violent police department where they will lie about themselves. Right? And then call you a liar because they're giving you false information about themselves or what have you. There is a God. God knows. Right? So, um, it's a, a, love is not sinning against your enemies. This is a problem. Okay? When they, th this guy pitted himself as an enemy against me, okay, along with the many people in, in this church cult, right, and then they talked about love, they use the word love in vain all the time, which is the same thing as using God's name in vain. 
So because they don't say God, they say love. And use love in vain. God is love. This is what they do. These churches use God's name in vain. They use love in vain, which is the same thing. Of course, that is what? In the Ten Commandments, which they deny. Why? Because they continuously keep bearing false witness. Now, it's strange because this guy keeps appearing to basically... Oh, I don't even... He deliberately brings confusion. I don't... Wait. That's Old Covenant! Oh. I'm trying, so I want to get to heaven! I gotta get to heaven! Wait, hold on. ...into dead spiritually people. That's what Jesus was calling for. That was weird when he said that. See, this whole That's thing about you. New Covenant theology isn't about heaven. It's not about heaven. It's theology, by the way, uh, doesn't exist. Nobody can study God. So, I keep saying that. Yeah, it's true. The I'm a theologian. I am theological. Okay? But, study... Th uh, the... <laughs> Theology is the study of God. Nobody can study God. I've never studied God. No human being can study God. You can study the attributes of God. You cannot study God. Theology cannot exist. Theology means the study of God. You, nobody can study God. That's, that's, you can't do that. <clears throat> Not about you're going to get to heaven. It's about being so filled with the Holy Spirit that you now become the person you were created to be in the garden. He radically transforms you that you can live out your createdness right here, right now. See, New Covenant theology isn't about getting to heaven. You're already guaranteed heaven. It's about living the content. Mm, you're not guaranteed heaven. Yes, you can lose your salvation, but salvation... Their, their idea of salvation is false. Salvation is about saving society and sanctifying the world and bringing them into the kingdom of God. To live a holiness um, uh, life uh, in, the, in the name of God. But the thing is, people have a false idea about perfectionism and a false idea oops, about um, holiness of God or whatever and things like that. Now... No, I'm ba I basically, um, no, I, 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 I'm, I'm a failure at that, all right? I'm just going to say that, all right? Yes, with the Holy Spirit indwelling in me by the anointing of God and God's minister, okay? And, of course, he has his thing or whatever. The thing is, all these people have their idea of perfectionism. People just, like, go, forget perfectionism. I don't care. I'm a mess up. Uh, look, I value perfectionism, okay? The um, thing is, it's just like, you know, from the things we eat, um, it's perfectionism that makes things right so we're not poisoned and contaminated. Why people, med medical doctors have to live by laws to make sure, you know, that, well, they're supposed to, they all don't, but to make sure that, you know, uh, care for you in their service is done rightly. Okay, there's laws that are made to make sure things are done perfectly. Now, of course, there's a lot of mess up in that or what have you. So, I mean, my argument like years ago when he basically tried to rant off about this and try to deny like, oh, you always want to be right. And it's just like, you know, you, you know how many times I've basically have been poisoned by and sickened and had to go almost go to the hospital because, um, uh, my spouse basically doesn't think he has to do things right and like clean a sponge or what have you and contaminated my food deliberately when he was angry by the way a couple of times sometimes he just doesn't care or what have you and basically um um he just doesn't think anything has to be done right now I was forced to live with him like forcibly to punish me or what have you he's my rapist by the way and they use it to punish me or what have you claiming i have to submit to my rapist they support rape by the way okay they're they're no different than um isis they just have like um um whatever
I don't even want to do this. The life of God, right here, right now, today. You're content. I don't want to listen to this Not guy. Not because your circumstance is the way you want it to be. This is the thing. They are content with persecuting me. They had admitted it. And they admitted it from Frank Apollo or whatever because they said they're of God because they're not affected by the heinous crimes that they have committed against me. They are content in their injustices and tyrannical oppression that they cause the people. They are content with their abuse. They are content with all of these things. They are like those images where you have the guy stepping on you know the person and sitting there saying you know oh they believe on free will because you're always stepping on everybody uh, by their own free will taking away uh will from everybody else that's what their version of free will is because you are who you were created to be see for us it's all about heaven I still hear people say it all the time. That's old covenant. Mm -hmm. I'm trying, so I want to get to heaven. I got to get to heaven. If you've received the Holy Spirit, heaven is not the issue. So why is that still your issue? Oh, that's right. Because you don't believe you're accepted. You don't believe you're secure and you have no significance from God. So you're trying so hard. You're working so hard to be good enough to get into heaven. That's a game that they play. Earn salvation or whatever. That's what the Pentecostals and a lot of other churches do. Sitting there claiming, uh, well, if you keep the Ten Commandments, oh, you're trying to earn your way into heaven. And then they sit there like, oh, that works. If you teach the Ten Commandments, it's there. Oh, that's what works. That's not faith or what have you. And then they're, then this Frank Apollo try to correct it after they try to, because I was teaching the Ten Commandments, right? And no, it's just like, I just, because I don't, I, because, oh, it's in my spirit that I'm just not going to lie against my enemy. So, um, and they, they make up all these lies or whatever. And that's earn I'm not earning my way into anything or what have you. And it has nothing to do whether I'm guaranteed to have it or not. So, they make up all kinds of things about what I believe in. And they try to cover it up when I sat there and taught, um, the passage from James a number of times. Uh, they just went over it again or what have you. And then Frank Apollo again is going... Uh, back or whatever, and like, oh yeah, well, faith, and I, over years and years and years and years and years, because I basically taught that uh, faith produces works. That it's not about the works, it's about the faith, but that doesn't exclude the works. You will be judged by what you do, and they basically damned me for that. So, oh, and then they condemn what I do, because... Isn't TikTok banned? <laughs> I just got a pop-up on my phone for that, and I'm not even connected to TikTok. <coughs> I don't know how it's on my phone. Uh, I don't even know what it is. I just heard it on the news um, uh, about it and things like that. That was weird. Okay. Um, whatever. I'm going to jump ahead. Look, I'm on 28. That's the issue, people. Living out your creative design is the issue. <laughs> Recklessly, radically loving other people no. is what we were all creating. No. Recklessly, really? No. Matthew 5, 44, Jesus says, For that, meaning loving your enemies will reveal you. A reckless, reckless loving your enemy? That's like... Yeah, yeah, why don't you just include freaking rape in there? And oh, oh yeah, because you know what? These abusers, they have a fatal attraction. That's that's reckless love. False love. They want to sit there and use these false, false, false gospel songs or what have you, which is nothing but lies. Okay, um, whatever. Your identity is children of your heavenly father. See, there's only one thing that tells the world God they love. Screw your God they love. God they love is not what you claim it is. There's nothing. No, I'm not saying. Uh, I'm not speaking against uh, the love of God whatsoever. By the way, just want to say that. 
I'm really getting no sick and tired of listening to him no say agape sin. all the time, which is nothing but an orgy, uh, uh, pagan orgy uh, feast. And be a part of. And if you believe that, you've been deceived by the enemy of your soul. You're deceived. Off-centered. The oh, Church of Jesus ahead. Christ and their vow is they will never, ever, ever come back. They don't have a problem with God. They don't have a problem with Jesus. They have a problem with all the people who are religious. And they vow they're never, ever, ever coming back to church. Because of us. Yes, because of you, but not because of religion. And you see, they're sitting there trying to um, uh, lead, lead people or whatever, so they're going to rearrange things about religion instead of teaching religion because they basically taught their sin that basically uh, is religion. So this is the thing. There's um, this deception or whatever, and atheists are knowingly... Knowingly not attacking sins of churches, even though, yeah, they are. They're using that as an excuse, but they're attacking religion, what is right. See, so they are literally tying religion to what is right. But the thing is, the excuse is they deliberately are claiming that everything evil of these societies that is atheist have to be religion. It is the exception by atheists. I had many conversations when I explained what religion religion is or what have you. And yes, people were tying that to religion. Like somebody like sits there and, you know, they try to claim, oh, this is God. They're doing it deliberately and deceptively. It is these I have studied atheists for about maybe ten years now. Thousands and thousands and thousands of them across the nation and internationally. Okay? And the thing is, the reality is they sit there and blame wars on re uh, what they falsely deem as religion. Now, a lot of them are cookie-cutting. A lot of things, that's what they're doing. Okay? Um... The thing is, like, they like to tie everything, like, mainly to Catholic Church or what have you. Catholics were atheists who persecuted Christians pretending to be Christian. See, it's more complex than he knows. Like, this blind guy who basically has no experience in any of this. Now, he may have a couple of, you know, athe oh, just like himself, atheist friends and all these other things or whatever. Which, um, you know, he's an atheist. <laughs> That's a problem. Um, they're trying to lure, and I told atheists that. I, I, you know, they, they, they basically are. There's people going around sitting there saying atheism is a religion. Um, all kinds of stuff out there, and then they're claiming that that you know they're not a religion or whatever. Uh, is religion is a faith, and that's trending all through the churches. And I'm in there, I'm just like. They're just deceiving you. <laughs> they're they're lying. Now, the thing is, they aren't of religion. There's more to it than that in this story and in my encounters with people. But um, I'm like, it's just a lure tactic to lure atheists or whatever into their churches. But they're not Christian. And they have to sit there and play the whole... Um, um, no Scotman's fallacy, which has no relation... And, of course, people are trying to steal that from me or whatever. Because I'm just like, that has no relation to the point of Christianity. Is anybody uh, could be Christian. doesn't matter if you call yourself Christian or not. It's the desires of your heart. Um, and Christianity is anything that is against what is evil. So, is it, if uh, Christianity is what is right. So, if the, if the churches are committing evil... That what is the purpose of Christianity? Then Christianity can't be Christianity if there's nothing to speak against of something being evil. So I mean, they play games. It doesn't matter. A majority. Of, this is the thing. This is what I told an atheist, Lieutenant Landy. All right. The real. This is my my uh, my uh, insightful observances. A lot of people claim to believe in God because they actually really believe that God is evil justifying their evil. This is why they like the atheist false version of Jesus, by the way. That they just get people to claim Jesus to justify their evil. And uh, likewise with atheists, they basically, a lot of, not all of them, 
Listen there, not all of them in regards to those who claim God, and not all of them who claim to be atheists, but a majority of atheists claim to be atheists because they want to justify their evil. So they sit there and create a false Jesus that justifies their evil. And there is, uh, I see a lot of it in groups I was actually attacked um, by a lot of false Christians as equally the same abusively by their evil and slander while well, they made up all these lies about what Christians believe that is a, most of it, a lot of it opposed to Christianity so um, the thing is, is a lot of people attack what is because what is <coughs> claimed to be religion just to attack, and a lot of it is because they are not claiming that they are righteous, because like I said, they're basically pointing out, oh, oh, this is what Christianity did. Oh, what about the Crusades? This is what the, you know, uh, Christian, the Crusades in the name of Christianity, in the name of God, and that's, that's not true, that's not real history. I've had all these discussions or whatever. So, the thing is, I don't have much time I'm going to cut off, so, um, actually, this is giving me a time this is weird. Now it's 52. It's saying 39 to 52 minutes. <sighs> I can't understand my phone. It's just, it keeps changing. I don't know what's going on. But, um, so, you know, they play all these games. It's a, it's a game. And the thing is, it's like, I, what I was just saying from the beginning is since this, well, no, I said a little different in this church. Shortly after, or what have you, I'm like, nobody can, re nobody can, um, own religion. And they want to tie religion into whatever is inside these buildings uh, of the societies in this clique, in these buildings of these churches. Okay? And it's just like they're persecuting Christianity. So there's... He, he doesn't get the deception of... that he's already in about anti... No, I'm going to say anti-theist atheism. Atheism is not a rejection of God. A lot of people claim to be atheists because they claim it's against God. Yes, there is a lot of people claim to be atheists because of the abuses of churches, mainly sexual abuse. But the thing is, is that...